far-reaching and devastating impact that COVID has had can't be underestimated. And we all owe a huge debt of gratitude to everybody on the front line that's been fighting this virus worldwide. At National Grid, our priority has been to ensure that we keep the lights on and the gas flowing, whilst also making sure that we look after the well-being and the safety of our people and also support our local communities as well as our customers. And I have to say that I've been incredibly proud of the way that we've all responded to the virus, making sure that we support hospitals and schools as well as other critical infrastructure around society. 2019-20 has been an incredibly busy year for National Grid as we've continued to deliver on our strategic priorities whilst looking to make significant progress on our clean energy transition. And the year has been one of significant milestones, not least in the UK, for the first time since the Industrial Revolution, we've seen more electricity being produced from zero carbon sources than fossil fuel. And we've also seen in the US and the states that we operate and in the UK, ambitious targets being set. National Grid has responded to that with its own target of net zero by 2050. To deliver that, we need to continue to invest in critical infrastructure. Last year, we invested £5.4 billion, including upgrading our Gardenville substation upstate New York, which will deliver safe, reliable and affordable clean energy to our customers for many years to come. And in the UK, we've started our new London Power Tunnels project, a £1 billion project that will help to rewire London as well as completed the tunnelling on our Feeder 9 project under the Humber, which will provide 25% of UK's gas needs. So both these projects are great examples of investments we're making to help on the energy transition. As National Grid looks to the future, we have a clear vision to deliver a clean, fair and affordable energy future. To deliver that, we'll be focusing on ensuring that the energy transition is available to all working with politicians and stakeholders to deliver the infrastructure for clean heat, clean power, as well as enabling the electrification of transport. We'll be focusing on operational excellence, delivering a safe, reliable and affordable service to our customers every single day. And we'll be innovating at the cutting edge of engineering, ensuring we have the capabilities in the organisation for the networks of the future. And of course, we'll be continuing to develop our people creating a diverse and inclusive workforce that has the strength and the capabilities to deliver on the energy transition.